Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to do the prediction for a new data set using gradient boost tree in nine. Gradient boosting is a powerful machine learning algorithm used for both regression and classification problem. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple weak models to create a strong model. The basic idea behind gradient boosting is to sequentially add new models to the ensemble, each of which corrects the error made by the previous model. Final model is then a weighted sum of all the models in the ensemble. The algorithm starts with a simple model such as this entry and trains it on a training data. The errors made by these models are then calculated and a new model is trained to correct these errors. This process is repeated iteratively with each new model focusing on the errors made by the previous model. I already explained this chart in my previous video. Kindly refer it. Now let's see how we can do the prediction for a new data set in nine. So first of all, I'll activate the input output node from here. I'll double click on it. I'll browse the data set. I'll activate hard one, open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Now I'll activate the column filter so that I can select only those variables which are necessary to create the model. Right click on it, configure. I'll take all the variables on left hand side. So age, pressing blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease. Right click on it and execute. Right click on it and you can see the filter table. Now all these variables are on different skills and therefore it is necessary to normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer from here. Right click on it, configure. So we are using the mean max normalization. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Now, let's partition the data. Right click on it, configure. 80% will be used for training purpose and 20% will be used for testing purpose. Click on stratified sampling, heart disease. Click execute. Now activate the gradient boost learner. Right click on it, configure. Make sure that the heart disease is your target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the gradient boosted tree predictor. So this predictor will get its learning from this node, but the data set will be from the partitioning. That is a remaining 20% data. Configure. Click execute. And click again, right click on it, and you can see the output data. So this is the prediction done according to the gradient boost algorithm, and this is the original data. Now we want to see how well the prediction has been and therefore we'll activate the scorer from here. Scorer. Right click on it, configure. Heart disease, prediction, heart disease. Right click on it and execute. Right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So the accuracy which we have got is 73%. 51 plus 84 is 135 cases have been correctly classified and therefore the classification accuracy is 73 percentage. Now we want to do the prediction for the completely new data set. So what we'll do, I'll copy these three nodes. Let's uh, copy it one by one. Copy, control V. Copy, control V. Copy. Control V. Let us take this here. Double click on it. And this time I'll be using not heart one, heart one test, a completely new data set. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and connect with the column filter. Execute. Right click on it and you can see the filter table. It's same as the previous pipeline. Again, connect this. I click on it and execute. So the variables have been normalized. Now, activate the 
Google boosted tree predictor, uh, sorry, gradient boosted tree predictor. And it will get its data set from here. But it will get its learning from here. And therefore, configure. Click OK. I click on it and exit. Now let's see how well our uh, predictor is working on the new data set. So we will have generate the confusion matrix for this also. Right click on it. Copy. Connect this here. Again, right click on it. Configure. Hard disease prediction. Hard disease. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So five plus three, eight cases have been correctly classified. Classification accuracy is 80 percent, quite good. Wrongly classified cases, 20 percent is there. So this is a way you can do the prediction for a new data set using gradient boost trees in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.